Hey boys and welcome back to another Bleach Bray Soul video and today we are over on BBS Simulator because there's a new banner dropping tomorrow morning and it's a very good banner. We're going to be going over that video. So massive shout out to Soldex as always for creating the BBS Simulator site. The link will be down in the description. Very good site. And we are able to kind of test our summons with this simulator right here and we'll do that near the end after we do talk about the banner. So what you can see the 50 million download celebration is here. Um, it's a bit disappointing, the celebration at least, but this banner definitely makes up for it. But even then, it only matters if you have orbs because I know a lot of people did summon on Burn the Witch. They did summon the Thousand Blood Banner, the one from the month ago, and also the one that just came out this week. And not a lot of people have orbs, myself included. So I'm probably going to be skipping this banner, but that's also mainly because I have a lot of the characters here. And even having said that, I still want to point this banner because it's definitely worth it. So one thing to take note of, of this banner straight away is that it does say the first and every fifth step costs only 50 orbs. Now, what this means is the first step and the five steps after that first step is always going to cost 50 orbs. So step 1, 6, 11, 16, 21, 26, and that's how it goes, right? They're all going to cost 50 orbs. This right here, I would say is poor wording. A lot of people, I believe, are thinking that step 5 and the guaranteed steps, the guaranteed 5-star steps, right, is going to cost 50 orbs. And that's not the case because you can see here, every 5th step guarantees a 5-star. It would say every 5th step is 50 orbs, but it doesn't say that right there, even though it kind of says it. It's, it, it's, re it's just very bad wording. So yeah, do keep that in mind, and I believe Soldex also has the Step 5 as 50 odds, but I don't think that's the case because it's basically the exact same wording as the Burn the Witch banner. If you look at the Burn the Witch banner, it didn't say this on the banner, and that's why people didn't really clock onto it. But if you read the notices, and you read what it says in the text, it basically said the exact same thing. And I know there was a few Reddit posts on Reddit when the banner did come out saying that shouldn't the 5th step cost 50 odds, but that's not the case. So basically, after that first multi, every 5th step is going to cost you 50 odds, right? Pretty good, and I believe Soldex also has the Step 5 as 50 orbs in this banner, which I don't believe is the case, so I'm not really sure exactly what that is, but just do keep that in mind. The game does say the 5th step and the 15th and the 10th and the 25th and the 1st step, they do cost 250, so do keep that in mind. It says right here it'll cost you 4,450 orbs to do all steps, but I believe it's going to be around 5.6k, similar to the Burn the Witch banner. And because of that, it does unfortunately mean that the steps are... Okay, I mean the steps are okay, right? But unfortunately it just means the first like three or so multis that you do on each step or each rotation is going to basically be a free star. Let's be honest, right? 3% rates isn't the highest. You're probably going to be one of the lucky few out there and do the 3% multis and get a 5 star. That'd be great, right? But personally for me, from my past experiences, those 3% multis are never good. If you watch my Burn the Witch summons, I don't believe I did. I did 25 steps on that banner. Oh, technically 26. So I did do the 50 of multi after that. All of those 3% multis, I didn't get a single 5 star. My 5 stars came from the guarantee, the 4% rates, and the 6% rates. Obviously, that just could just be being unlucky, but it is what it is, right? So, one thing you need to know about this banner is the fact that it does start at 3%. You have to unlock the 6% rate. So, step 1 is going to cost you 50 orbs. It's going to be a 3% banner. Step 2 is going to cost you 150 orbs. It's going to be a 3% banner. Step 3 is going to be 250 orbs. So, you're finally up to the 250 now. And this is where the rates are going to start to increase, and it's going to be at 4%. And then, step 4, you're going have a 6% chance, so pretty much the good stuff. So you have a 0.667% chance to get the character that you want, and then step 5 has an 8% rate, and you have a 0.889% chance to get any character you want. On top of that, you also get in the guarantee, and then after that guaranteed multi, you go back to the start, essentially, back to step 1, where you have the 3% rate, 50 orbs, 3% rate, 150 orbs, 4% rate, 250 orbs, etc. Right? So that's basically how it is, that's the cycle summons, and that right there normally is... Um, it's not something to look forward to. It is annoying that it, we do have 3% rate still after 5 years, but it is what it is. If you do decide to go all in this banner, there's a very good chance you get who you want. Especially, because I've already scrolled past it now, the fillers in this banner is absolutely amazing. Honestly, this is one of the best banners Killer have released in the last, like, couple years. This is actually very, very good. Now, I'm not going to be pulling on this banner, but I will be doing the step 1. I do encourage most of you lads to do the same. This banner, the value this banner has is absolutely insane. So, basically... The three worst characters, I guess, the ones you don't really want, for most people at least, would be the Aizen, Quincy Ichigo, and Kenpachi, because they are kind of common premium characters that you're going to see a lot in the banners. But, if you tell me that the worst premium banners in a banner is these three, I will take that any day over a, you know, Nelio, Tensei Zangetsu, Pass Shinji, you know, those oh, those terrible ones that we don't like seeing, I will gladly take these three. And if you haven't already realized, we also do have the free Link Sort characters in this banner, and also free other seasonal. So that's the best way this blow up. You have the free Link Sort characters, the free seasonal characters, and the free premium characters. You have Kisuke. Kisuke is a very good character. We're going to click them real quick. 
One of the best cards in the game, in my opinion. Very fun to play around with. If you're a Kisuke fan, you definitely do want to get him. And he also is a Heart Link Sword character. So what that means is if you bring this character into the Heart IZ zone, he's going to give you an additional 5 pots. And if you have 4 Kisukes in the IZ zone, if you are playing Cobb, you're getting an additional 20 pots per run. That's absolutely insane. If you saw my last video, I've Link Sorted every Heart character in my box right now. All thanks to this character because he's absolutely amazing. He's a Flurry character with Guard Break and that just means Flurry Guard Break is a very powerful combination. Not a lot of characters have this in the game and only two characters in the game have that while being ranged and that's him and Tokinada and that right there is a powerful combination it really is it, it, it makes them so so good and it also means they can clear content fast you don't have to use your strong attacks you can just sit back play it safe use your natural string and kill anything in your way if you actually have four key skates in an iz room and you're playing co-op easily you can auto it. I've done many rooms where I just auto with Kisuke. And you can't say the same about the three other Link Sword characters. He's definitely a character you want to get. Probably the prize of the band in my opinion. But he is a premium character so you might want to get the Rukia or Ruka more if you are going for those Link Sword characters. Speaking of them, let's go to Rukia, right? Rukia is also another very good character. She has a last ditch Link which isn't normally the best but she does come with a 12% recharge in her skills. She has free flash steps, frenzy, berserker plus 20%, has the mind Link Sword so if you bring her into mind as you get additional 5 pots plus 20 20 if you do have four rookies in a co-op lobby and then she has a charge attack she weakens and everything she's a very good character very fun to play character too i really do like her uh she, ha actually having her is very fun to play in inz because she is an sp based character and the fact that she does have that last ditch just means she's actually quite useful in inz as well even if the fact that she didn't have this right here she still would have been one of my go-to characters because she does have that built-in last ditch it means you don't have to waste revive candles if you do die with this character so again another very good character one of my favorites in the game and i do and i'm glad you do have her that being said, going on to the other Link Sword character, you know, the third one, the three that are in the banner right here in the thumbnail, we have Aruka, a also very good character. Now, normally, when you play co-op, because this is a character you want to farm co-op with, you want to do the IZ zone, right? You don't normally want to bring that character, and that's exactly why Kenpachi really is bad, the calm for your old one, when you do want to farm Link Swords, because... You're getting too close to this co-op lag and stuff like that. You you don't really want to bring a melee character, especially a NAD-based character, because you just end up taking a lot of damage. You probably die. It's very slow. Uh, the difference is with this Ruka and the Kisuke. Kisuke is a ranged character. He has guard break, so it's a lot easier for him. The Rukia is a SP character, so she doesn't have to worry about that. And then this Ruka, even though she technically does suffer from the same thing that kind of makes him patchy bad, she also comes with the fact that she does have weakening on everything. So that means when a boss spawns, one Ruka could pop their special, and boom, no one's going to die. You can literally just turn on auto for like 10 seconds while you kill the bosses. So unlike Impachi, Raruka actually has some very good survivability. She also has the self-surrounding vortex that does follow her. She's also another very good character and she does give you those plus five pots for technique. Very good character. Uh, also one of my favorite characters of the game. I really just, if you can't tell, I really do like these Link Sword characters. And also the artwork for this Raruka is very, very good. I like it. I don't know why. Maybe it's the way she's looking at me. It, it just hits different. That being said though, she is also a very good PvP character. So even if you don't like, if you have a 5-5, five, five, She's also a very good PvP character. Like, honestly, very good. She's very comparable to the Kampachi. Kampachi is also another good character. And I would actually say that Raruka is actually a better character in PvP because she herself is a human character, so she doesn't have to bother, you know, going against characters that have Captain Killer or having extra damage against her like this Kampachi does, even though Kampachi is also pretty good. If you have both Raruka and Kampachi, I would say use the one that you have more dupes of. So now that we talked about the three links of characters, those are the three you definitely want to get. If you're summoning this banner, you want to make sure you get at least one of those three characters, even then you want dupes of them because you're going to be using them in co-op a lot. These characters I use almost every day when I can. Very fun characters, very good characters. These are the ones you want to have and the fact that all three of them are on a banner is absolutely insane. So this again just increases the value. Getting just one of those characters means you can infinitely farm Link Swords all day long. It's actually kind of fun farming it because you're getting so many pots. Going on, though, let's talk about the other three characters, right? So, you have the Toshiro. He is, um, he's alright. He's a pretty good character. I would say top 10 power, uh, but he isn't anything too special, in my opinion. He's just an okay character. He's pretty fun. He can click content. If you're a Toshiro fan, then you definitely want to get him. He has the stuff you want. He has the Berserker, Frenzy, Guard Break, Weaken and everything. SA2 is a kind of short Vortex, Vacuum Vortex. SA3 is in, I think, a what, 970 in front of him? Let me just double check. It is, so you can see it there. So, yeah, he's quite fun to play around with. Nothing too special, but he is pretty good. Then you have 
Obiakio. Again, another very powerful character. One of the best power characters in the game. Uh, tied for second place in a sense. I would say the best power character in the game is 5th Anniversary Ichigo. And then the second, third, and fourth slot would go to Lie. It would go to Bankai Shinji and then the Biakio. And essentially all three of them have the exact same kit. Some of them just do different stuff. But either way, if you have all three of them, you can just pick and choose which one you want. He does freeze on everything. He has Berserker plus 20%. He has Havoc. He's a very good character. Very good strong attacks. And he also looks pretty cool. And considering he was in the last Spirit Society banner, we're probably not going to see him again because we aren't getting Spirit Society this year. Maybe next year. Who knows? So this might be one of your last chance to get him at a very good rate. Very good character. Then we have the... Ooh. Oh, then we have the Swimsuit Orihime. I really want this character. She's actually the only one I'm missing in this banner. She herself isn't the best character. If you actually have her, you're probably never going to use her unless, again, you want to... I mean, there's... I see the reason why you want to use her, right? <laughs> um, she's an okay character. I wouldn't say... I would say she's definitely the worst in terms of, like, usability out of everyone here. Maybe tied with this Quincy Ichigo. But she is a Chronicle Quest bonus character. And that's where she's going to shine the most. She's going to be able to farm the Chronicle Quest Part 2, I believe. Or Part 1 Quest 2. So she does have use there. Then you have Kenpachi. Very common character. He's actually being put in a lot of banners right now ever since Drugum's release because he's kind of useless. Even then, he's still good. But, like, Drugum does what he does better. Uh, he's still a very good character. Also, Con Quest bonus character, so even if you don't have a use from him in PvP, you're going to be able to use him there. Very fun character too, really do like this character. You have Quinty Ichigo, an anniversary-esque character, he is the 2019 New Year's version. Nothing too special in my opinion, but he's something you he's someone you want to have in your account, because every Senkamon stage that does come out, every new tower, there's normally a floor specifically built for this character, even though he's kind of annoying to use. And there's also a new tower coming out next month, so do stay tuned for that. The Quinty Ichigo, again, might be a character you want to have on that tower. Again, we don't know and the last character is power eyes and floor 20 eyes for tower of audios um not bad again he's also a character you kind of want to have dupes of i have him 5-5 very good for epic grade when he has a bonus very good for guild quest Pretty fine character, it's also Aizen. So overall, lads, this is the banner, right? You have decently okay rates. If you do go deep, you're probably going to pull most of them. You have three links to characters, which I don't think we're going to see again for a long time. You have a very powerful PvE character, very fun character right there. You have a Toshiro. You have a Chronicle Quest bonus character, who also is Orihime in a swimsuit. You have a, another PvP character, also another Chronicle Quest bonus character. And then you have a pretty useful character to have, and then you also have another pretty useful character to have. So honestly, I would say the one that you kind of don't want to pull for is the Toshiro in a sense, because I don't think you really have a use for him. Uh, the others, I actually see myself using a lot if I did have them. So the value in this banner, if you just couldn't tell from what I was talking about for the last like five minutes, very, very good. You have Chronicle Quest bonus characters, you have useful characters, you have Link's on characters. The value in this banner is absolutely insane, and I wouldn't blame you for going to 30 steps. This is actually insane. Very good banner, and the only downside to this banner, the only negative thing I'll say about this banner, is where are the 5th anniversary characters? I've been saying in the last couple of videos, I knew we were going to get a 50 million dollar celebration banner, and I honestly would have expected anniversary Ichigo and Byakuya to return by now. Unfortunately, they aren't here yet. Maybe there's going to be a part 2 banner, I have no idea. They're bound to return eventually, so if you are saving for those characters, I would recommend saving a, bit, a few orbs. Again, we don't know when they're coming back, but they should come back soon. It's almost been six months since their release. So, if you are deciding to put this banner, good luck. And just for that, actually, we're going to actually do some steps, right? So, I'm going to do all steps because I don't want to be forever. Let's see what we'd get. What might you see if you do decide to drop every single orb on this banner? Do all 30 steps. What do we get? We get one Kisuke. Very good right there. You get four Rukias. Okay, that's good. You got Toshiro, four Byakias there, three Orihimes, one Kenny, one Queen Tijigo, and two Power Aizens. If I got that in 30 modes, I would be very happy, right? You get the Kisuke, very good character. Even one out of five, he can auto the quest very easily. You have Rukia, potentially 5-5 five, five if you already have her once. Uh, that's also very good because she is an SP character. I think dupes matter a lot more for her. You can use her in Guild Quest. The Toshiro, pretty good character, right? Byakuya, 4-5, that would be great. Orihime, you don't really want dupes, though but she is nice to have and then you got one kenny one queen to go and then two power eyes and so yeah but it's pretty good and you can see here what i mean like step one two three pretty much guaranteed four star step four can be either hit or miss Step 1, 4 star, because it is 3% rate. Step 7 and 8 is the 3% rate. So somehow we got 2 and 1. That's actually quite crazy. 4% rates there, 6% right there. Again, you can see here the 3% multis are normally going to be a rip. You very well could see something like this, where you end up doing uh, 5 multis and only end up getting a 5 star on the guaranteed step. And lucky enough here, we did get 3 and 1. So that's pretty cool. I want to test it again, though, because unfortunately we didn't get a Ruka in all these steps. Like, imagine doing that. Imagine doing 30 steps for a Ruka and not getting her, but you get all this other good stuff. I wouldn't really complain too much, but I definitely 
definitely would be salty if she was the one I was missing. All right, so just for fun, let's do 30 more steps. Let's see what we get. So we got these following characters. <laughs> Okay, that would probably be best case scenario. That's actually very good. So you get a 4 out of 5 Aruka, a 4 out of 5 Kisuke, 1 out of 5 Rukia, 1 out of 5 Toshiro, 2 out of 5 Byakuya, 2 out of 5 Orihime, 1 out of 5 Quintichigo, and a 5 out of 5 Power Aizen. That's actually quite crazy. Honestly, if I ever did decide to pull in this banner, I'd probably end up getting like 4 5 stars and that'd be from the guaranteed steps. Um, I'm probably going to be skipping it, but even having said that, I'm still very tempted to pull because I want dupes of these characters. Keep that in mind, right? The main three you probably want to be going for in this banner is definitely the Link's characters because they are the the limited ones they are the rare ones right these are the ones you kind of want to get to farm iz and because you want to farm iz cop having dupes of every single link or character is definitely going to make your you and your teammates life a lot easier so i kind of want to pull i don't have the orbs for it but i kind of want to do like fire step to try and get another kisuke to try and get another rookie and also to try and get another ruka so that being said though, lads that was the video hope you guys did enjoy it let me know in the comments below if you are pulling it's not a bad banner to pull on probably the most insane value banner of the year and it's it's definitely something you should consider going out on. Uh, if you have limited orbs, maybe go to step 5 and then call it quits. Maybe do the 6th step because it costs 50 orbs. If you have like 5k orbs sitting down, maybe drop a few multis for these characters because it's definitely worth it. And this does bring up the question, what's mid-month going to be? What's end of month going to be? Well, lucky for you lads, if you are wondering that, you actually can wait. This banner does drop tomorrow and it is here until the end of the month. So if you are kind of worrying about what mid-month might be or what end of month might be, you can actually wait till the end of month November, which at that point, the mid-month banner would have passed and the end of my banner would have also been announced. So you can really pick and choose what you want to do here. So do not rush into this banner. Make sure you wait if you do have limited orbs and you want to see what is out. I know waiting like 25 or so days for the next couple of banners to release is kind of annoying if you, don't, if you do want to pull straight away. But if you have the patience, it's definitely going to pay off. So that being said, that's all the video. Hope you guys did enjoy it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.